All right, in this video, I'm gonna tell you about three mistakes that are commonly made during internships. More importantly, I'm gonna show you how to fix them and take action. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so mistake number one is that you are likely not asking for enough help. Now, this is especially the case if you're struggling with this, with your assignment. For example, if you're given some type of work that is very challenging or very hard and you're really struggling and you're kind of beating yourself up for not figuring it out, you're likely not asking for help. Now, you might be like, oh, I don't know who to ask for help. Well, try to figure out who to ask for help. Maybe if you don't have anybody who is assigned to you directly to report to, go and figure out who it, who it is that's working on things that are similar to yours and just talk to them, email them or reach out to them and say, hey, I'm working on this thing and kind of lay where you're stuck or where you would like help or advice and that person will most likely be able to help. Now, even if you're not struggling at all and you're just kind of moving at a certain pace, you could move at a much faster pace if you learn the skill of cultivating other people and learning how to ask for help and learning how to rely on other people's experiences, solve your problem a lot faster. And actually, even if you're not solving the problem faster, you're gonna at least teach someone else what you're working on, what you're doing, which can be pretty cool. Might lead to very insightful discussions. All right, mistake number two is that you're focusing too much on your assignment, on the technical work you're doing, and you're not using the internship experience to calibrate what it is that you want to do in life. So let me ask you the following. Are you thinking about how you've changed since you started the internship? Are you thinking about if you're enjoying this field, given what you've learned in this internship? Have you thought about if you'd like to return to this company in the future or whether you want to go try some something else? And if you want to return, do you want to return for another internship for a full time? And if you don't want to return, where would you like to go? What it is that you actually did not like? Where would you go such that you would actually find the thing that you like again the key idea of the internship is not necessarily just like get paid to do some work and go home the idea is you're experiencing what it's like to be a real engineer in the field and asking yourself do i like this am i enjoying this and if not why is that and what can i do about it what can i learn from this so make sure you're doing a lot of reflections and tracking what it is that you want to do and kind of setting yourself on the right track and not just doing the technical work. All right, then mistake number three is you're likely not being proactive about your future. Now this piggybacks off step number two is that, okay, now that you've reflected and you figured out return or not, let's say you do want to return here for another internship or a full-time, are you taking action to increase the likelihood of that happening? And one way you can do that is you can simply talk to your manager and say, hey, I really like what I'm doing and I'm enjoying this work environment. If I were to want to come back, what do you think, what actions should I take? Or how do I increase the likelihood of that happening? And actually one other thing you can do is you can ask for feedback and say, hey, what is it that you think I'm doing? How's my performance? And how can I improve what it is that I'm doing? Now I know what you're thinking. You might think, oh no, man, that's like, that sounds a little pushy. I don't wanna go and be like, hey, hire me again. But the reality is if you go and take initiative and show that, hey, I really like it here. I would like to come back. What actions do I wanna take? In my opinion, there's a higher chance that they would actually like you more and be like, wow, this guy actually knows what he wants. and he likes it here so we probably should make a move and, and give him an offer to return because the other alternative is you're just gonna hope that they've noticed enough things or that they've liked what they've seen enough to actually ask you to return so it's kind of a more passive approach and if you're familiar with the videos i make on this channel i'm not too fond of passive approaches i'm a very active person and i like to take action to get the things that i want and i want you to do the same thing so be active about your destiny and again the best way to predict the future is to create it so if you really want to return to this internship and you think you've done a good enough job Talk to your manager, talk to your coworkers about how you can increase that. If you don't think you've done a good enough job, find out why that is the case and go seek help. Again, this internship is a very short experience, so you really wanna make the most out of it. You wanna be on your toes the whole time and you want to be constantly doing your work very well, asking for help, meeting people, networking. But more importantly, you want to ask yourself, what am I gaining from this and what are my next steps going forward? Now, if there are other mistakes that you think you fell into during your internship that you'd like to teach other people, please feel free to talk about it in the comments below. That being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love.